what's going on guys welcome to today's video today's video is just going to be it's not really gonna have anything to do with fitness I kind of just wanted to do a fun video something I haven't done in a while it's gonna be kind of fitness because y'all are gonna see a workout or we're laying on the clips it's gonna be in the description box so this video is gonna be 10 things you didn't know about me just to like help you guys get to know me a little bit better I wanted this to be a fun video so number one First thing you might not know about me, 0% of anything can make me squeamish. So if you guys tell me your grossest story in the comment section, it will not gross me out. Like I have seen very disgusting things. I was in nursing school. I have done disgusting things, seen disgusting things. Like you cannot, cannot gross me out. Like there's no such thing as TMI, nothing. Actually, there's only one thing and it's like pimple popping and that like is really nasty. But everything else I'm like, it's fine. <laughs> So the next thing you may not have known about me is that when I was like 12, I had a weird obsession with like dolphins and I wanted to be a marine biologist, but I like really actually wanted to be and I made my parents buy me airplanes. It should be fine, but still. Every and time. I, <laughs> and I made my parents buy me a mural of like underwater sea life, like dolphins and like other stuff. It was like an entire, like the green one that you see on the back wall. It literally like, covered the whole entire wall. And I made my parents buy it and put it on my wall. And and it was hideous, but I was like obsessed with <laughs> it. Number three. Next thing you need to know about me is that I am very clumsy. Like I trip and I fall and I burn myself and I just literally fell in the middle of the road. I do shit like that all the time. And I burnt myself with curling iron and I spilled coffee on my laptop and stuff like that. I'm very clumsy. Cool. Um, that wasn't me. <laughs> Number four. All right guys, another interesting fact you may not know about me, which is fun for everybody. My first few phones in like 2000s, I had the Motorola Razor, I had the LG Envy, I had the chocolate, and I think I had a Blackberry Pearl. <laughs> Those are my favorites. I never had the Sidekick. I think the Sidekick was for like cool kids, but I didn't get that one, so. Uh, now I have the iPhone 7 Plus. Bitch. We made <laughs> it's it. not that fancy, but it's kinda cool. Number five. Number five thing you may not have known about me, I didn't want to move to California at all when I first got like propositioned by my friend. I was one of those kids that like did not like change at all. Like when I was switching schools from middle school to high school, my dad wanted me to go to the different high school. And I was like, no, like I fought them like to the death. And I was like, I don't want to go, no way. <laughs> but obviously like since I have gone here. Number seven. Okay, so the next thing, number seven, seven? I never got a C in school. Like, I got one, I, I lied, one C freshman year, first quarter of high school, I got a C in Spanish. But even in middle school and like all through high school, all through college, never got a C. I was always just really self-motivated. Like I liked reading and like, I was just one of those kids that never got senioritis. Like I just really liked school and really liked learning. It was, I was weird. Like, Number eight. So we're gonna do my favorite car, color, and place. Favorite car, I have no idea because I don't care about cars. I'm like not one of those people that knows anything about cars, gives a shit about cars. Like I have a Honda Civic. Anyway, my favorite color is purple. It's like this purple. I need to get my nails done. It's like a lavender. It's like a lavender purple. Favorite place, aside from Los Angeles, this is my favorite place in the whole entire world. Every single time I go somewhere else, I'm just like, I love it here. Favorite place that I've been aside from LA is Chicago. Chicago's like probably one of my favorite cities and I would live there if it wasn't cold. Number nine. So my first job that I ever had, I did filing for my grandpa. He gave me a $10 an hour job and I put files in file cabinets for him. And then my other sequential jobs after that were just, I was a waitress for a while. I was a server at um, a, a golf course restaurant. It was really small. I could basically run the whole place by myself. I was also a server at a restaurant in California, two of them. And then I was a server my senior year of college at a fancier restaurant where I had to wear ties 
and a button down. That's how I learned how to tie a tie. It was my first day on the job and I was sitting in my car watching a YouTube video on how to tie a tie because I had to wear, a, wear one for my job. So those are the jobs that I did before this, which is a good segue into the last one. And number 10. Which segues into number 10 thing you probably don't know about me, maybe you do. I had zero intention on becoming a YouTuber or a podcast or like being a social media person, like literally zero intention on ever doing that. It just happened by accident, honestly. I had every intention on being a nurse and then this like fell into my lap, really. I was not one of those people that watched YouTube before I started making YouTube videos. Like I started making them because I was like, this is an easier way of writing Instagram captions that are really long. And then I just stumbled upon the whole like YouTube world and here we are today. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if if you liked it, it was just a fun, light video that I just wanted to do for fun. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, that didn't work.